Here at the Library Commission, we've been talking a lot about RSS feeds lately and how we're distributing information that way. Many of you may already have created an account with either Google Reader or blog lines uh, through some of our past trainings to track RSS feeds. Um, some of you may not have yet, and one of the general concerns with those is that you already get all your email in Outlook, and you don't want to set up an account somewhere else to get yet more information. So maybe you'd like some RSS feeds to come into Outlook. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do here in just a minute or two. First thing, um, I'm in my Outlook here, and you can see over to the left there is a folder called RSS feeds, but if I click on that, there's actually nothing in it. That's because I haven't set any up yet. So what I'll do here is go to uh, our web page, and I've gone to the RSS feeds page, which you can get to off the home page with the orange icon in the upper right. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm subscribing and getting the new blog posts for the Encompass blog, all items. So what I'm going to do here is I can either copy this URL, or as I see the orange icon here, I can right click on this and do a copy shortcut. That will put the URL of the RSS feed onto my clipboard. I'm just going to switch back to RSS feeds here, and unfortunately this is somewhat uh, a multi-step process. I'm going to go ahead and select Tools, and then Account Settings. And if I look across here, I have an RSS feeds tab, so I'll bring that up, and I'll click New. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to paste with Control v the URL of the feed I want to subscribe to into this box, and click Add. I'll then get some choices here. I can change the name of it if I want. I'll go ahead and leave it in Encompass Blog. I can change the folder it's stored in, but I don't recommend you do that. I would just leave it as is. Um, if you are subscribing to a feed that has audio or video content, such as a podcast, you might want to check automatically downloading closures, but I would be careful with that. That does take up a lot of uh, storage space on your computer. Um, and also there's an option here called download the full article as an HTML attachment, but again, that's not something you really need to do. You can then uh, change the update limit. In this case, again, I would just leave that right alone. What this is going to do, as it says here, is check for new content every hour for you. Go ahead and click OK. And you will see that this is listed and it's uh, last updated as pending. That will update itself momentarily. I'm going to go ahead and click Close. And you will see we now have a little plus sign next to my RSS feeds folder. So I could click on plus, and you will see I now have a new subscription, a new folder under that called Encompass Blog with 15 unread items. If I click on that, we'll see here that um, it is now going to look exactly like email. You have your subject and to and from and date on the left, and you have the content of that post on the right. Um, by default, because we did not check that HTML option, we're not going to get images necessarily. We might not get um, some other content, and you can always click this link here, which will open up your browser and show you the actual live web page. But in most cases, this will get you pretty much the content you want. Like email, you can sort, you can um, uh, search this content. As we click through, notice that the previous ones will be marked as red. And you can leave those, they'll kind of clean themselves out, or if you said, hey, um, read that, I can go ahead and click delete, or press the delete key, and it will disappear, and you'll never see it again. So this is one way you can uh, subscribe to RSS feeds. If you are a heavy Outlook user, you like the Outlook interface, uh, feel free to just go ahead and subscribe to them using Outlook.